Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about that how you can create a custom workspace into the service now. If you see in the service now, recently they have added a dedicated uh, top sections called workspace. Under that workspace, there are a lot of workspaces are getting created day by day. So, if you are uh, in the service now platform and the new customer is looking for change something into workspace, it is going to be very difficult for you if you are not aware of that workspace steps. So, what my plan is that in this uh, sessions we are going to know that how we can create a custom workspace step by step so let's see one by one to create the workspace we need a or we are going to use that ui builder so what is the ui builder let's first understand that just a simple one line of um, description and then we'll go actually in practical sessions the ui builder is a service now tools for creating and mapping modern user interface for application built on the service now platform using the ui builder we can create the workspace and portal so if you know that in that service now we have a service portal and then in the service portal we are using that angular uh, js and this angular js is going to be uh, angular js is actually outdated and then uh, for that reason service now is trying to uh, cope up that new technology uh, with the help of that ui builder so using the ui builder actually you can create the workspace as well as the portal so let's see how we can do that so if you go here in the left navigation and then search for the ui builder you will be see that UI Builder is present under Now Experience Framework. So let's type the Now Experience Framework. Under this Now Experience Framework, you will be able to see uh, multiple menus, themes, uh, multiple sections are available. So we'll first today talk about that UI Builder and using the UI Builder, how we can create our custom um, workspace. So let's say that we have a workspace here. You can see these are the workspace here. We are going to create a new workspace today. So we'll click that UI Builder here. So in this UI Builder, we have to create an experience. What is experience? Experience is something like uh, if you are trying to new uh, workspace, you need to create a new experience. Or if you are trying to new portal, you need to create a new experience. So experience is something like a new workspace or new portal. So our case, we are going to create a custom new workspace. We'll click the create button under this experience. Now, if you click the create option, the first thing is that your um, environment name, then slash now, then slash, and then this URL path. So this URL path is nothing but that you are going to put here. So let's say that we are going to put called demo. So once you put the URL path uh, demo, you can see that it is showing like a demo. Now you need to put a your experience name. For example, we'll put that experience name called demo. And this is our URL path called demo. Here is the important things. The first thing is that app shell. So if you click the app shell, there are multiple app shells are present right now. So if you see that previously there was only called uh, workspace, then they introduced portal and there are a few more uh, app shells are there. App shells is nothing but the type of experience that we are going to build that. So are you going to build a portal? Are you going to build a workspace? So app shells is a type of application that we are going to build. So our case, we are going to build a custom workspace. We'll select that workspace. And then here we are, we have to set that landing path. So whenever you land first time, where should you land? The land should be under home page or any other page. You can define that. So in our case, I'm not going to change anything here. So I put the name, I put the URL path, I select the app shells. Uh, I did not change the landing path. Here the roles, so what all user will be able to access this um, these, uh, workspace or you can say the experience. So let's say that I'll select that ITIL user for the time. Being. So we'll select that and then click create so our experience is created now we'll click the open experience so it means that we have created a applications or we can say that a workspace with a blank page so it's created a structure but there is no page so we have to create a new page under this um, application or we can say that workspace so you can see that i have created under global scope our application or workspace name is called demo and then we need to create a page so we'll click the create new page so there are multiple templates are there so you can see that uh, multiple templates are there so let's say that you are trying to build a um, standard record you can select that this template if you select that uh, 
playbook you can select that if you are talking about the record page you can use that this template simply it will create necessary component i am not going any or i am not choosing that any template we'll select the template later in our further phases but i'm not selecting anything i'll click that create from the scratch instead so we select or we can create a our um, um page now here we need to define our page name so first page is let's say that i'll put that home page so we'll select that home page so this is our home page and then we'll click continue now once you create a page a uh, home page or any page there are multiple things like a parameter inside the page you can pass parameter why we need the parameter parameter is needed because let's say that if you, if you uh, seen my uh, portal page under id we pass the table and then we pass the sys id so that it can actually render particular record so let's say that whenever you are opening any record into the service now uh, if i open the incident uh, you will be able to see in the top there are two pa uh, multiple parameter not two multiple parameter one parameter is the table name another parameter is the sys id so these are the parameter right and in the sys id you are passing the sys id of the record so these are the parameter so we can define the required parameter optional parameter for the timing i don't need any parameter so we'll click looks good now we have a one options called variant what is variant will come later phase but i'll just click that or i'll just uh, uh put that as a default and click create so once we do that our first page is created under this workspace under this demo workspace our first page is created and our editor view will be come up in a some seconds so now you can see that our um the workspace editor or page editor mode is open what i'll do i'll just uh this um this one i'll just um unpin and refresh once again so that it the builder looks little good on uh, that um page builder little looks good the editor page editor is open now we have to add component so you can see the left side we have a body and this is overlay so we are not talking about overlay we are going to add some component under this body so this is our body page you can see by default it have a plus sign or else you can add the component from here so let's say that i'll click the plus sign now uh, once you click the plus sign or layout a plus sign we have a multiple layout if you talk if you know that about uh, bootstrap bootstrap is supported uh, 12 column right uh, here by default you can um, you know segment this page you can uh, divide it into the multiple sections uh, you can do two sections you can select the one section you can divide it into four sections um you know in the advanced or grid and uh, system you can do more further advanced sectioning let's say for example we are going to select the single column here and then so once our single column is added here we can click the plus sign and then once we click the plus sign multiple components will be visible so first we added the layout so which type of layout we want then we are going to use a component so what component we are going to add there so let's say that we can show some alert we can show some batches some buttons uh some text um so anything we can select that here so for example um i will select a very simple component call so i'll select rich text for the timing so so rich text is something that allow you to uh, do something like uh, you can add or you can put some your html component so let's say that for the example once you select the rich text or which type of component you want to add you will be able to see multiple options are showing here what is this we'll talk about that later but for the timing i'll select none once i select the none you can see the default it saying that the world works with service now so this is is the text is coming so you can simply click that edit html here and here you can see that you can put your html content so you can click that here you can click this here and then you can put your html source code here for the time being what i'll do i'll move this to a middle of the portion i'll change this color to red or maybe something called here um uh, anything is fine then i will change this font to little bit bigger and then i'll say that this color is little uh, 
off so we'll put something deep colored and then we'll say that new demo workspace and then uh, I will simply click apply and then save that so this page is saved in this page we can create multiple components we'll talk about that so our workspace is created our page is created let's save that now if I go here in that um, actual platform and refresh that is that workspace are visible here let's see that so if I click here under this now uh, under this workspace our or my workspace is not visible right but if we click or if we get preview option uh, you will get this view of this uh, workspace page but I am not able to see or I am not able to uh, see under this workspace my workspace is visible how we can add this workspace so we'll go here and then type that now experience here we'll click the experience here under this now experience uh, you will have call uh, experience under uh, previously go to the UI builder now I click the experience and I landed to this UI application now let's say let's find out our application so I'll find out called demo um, this is our uh, workspace so we'll open that so once you open that you can see that the title is called demo then this is the path and then actually is the workspace so nothing needs to be changed what you have to do here under this UX application category M2M you need to create a new button and then you need to click here under this experience category you need to select the workspace and then uh, I am not going to put any order I'll just submit that and if I refresh that under this workspace sections this workspace should be visible let's see so you can see our demo workspace is visible and if you click that demo workspace it's saying that page not found why let's see so it's actually lent me to this uh, home page but uh, you can see this is our home but it's saying that page not found why we'll go to this uh, again uh, call UI builder here or you can go to directly from left navigation type again call UI builder and then here you will be able to see that um, recently open under this you should be able to see our UI builder or else we can search called demo demo one and then here we'll go to the settings under this settings we need to define that what should be our default or landing path so landing path should be our home page so this page should be our landing path path so we'll just save uh, select that and then save that so we created a home page called home page that page we should select that as a landing page and let's go back again the service now home page refresh there so now we'll click this uh, workspace and then click demo and then you can see that we have landed our new workspace page called new demo workspace so this way you can create your um, first workspace and then here you can start customizing this workspace